Guruji, since you were speaking about the transformation of mind, today we have uh, social media and we have, you know, media at large on our fingertips. Media is so explicit today, you know, I personally have stopped watching movies since a long, long time, because in spite of being a part of, you know, the cinema industry, and uh, of course, I have great honor and respect for it because it not only gives employment to actors, it also gives employment to, you know, diverse uh, people, range of people. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But having said that, I personally, since over the years, feel that, you know, that, that lack of interest when it comes to watching movies, and I've just stopped watching movies, and I feel somewhere that, um, you know, it probably collects large amount of unnecessary impressions in your mind, which I feel it's not needed. Even as entertainment, I feel it's not needed. But there are some people who feel that, no, uh, we can watch any kind of content on, you know, on the social media, uh, in movies, and then we can just brush it off from our mind, you know, we can just brush off these impressions from our mind at our will. Would you agree or would you still feel that we somewhere have to be very careful and conscious of the kind of uh, content we consume today um, in social media and of course cinema and the entire world of media and social media at large? Actually, whenever you look around, you know, we see that everything is in media, you know. But I think we have also good things into that. Yes. You see, without social media, we will not be here. You will not be able to go online to, 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 to the outside world to bring something positive to the world itself, you know. But it will be also wonderful to remind people, you know, the most important things of life also. That's why we have to be really careful of what we are watching. Is it a destructive or creative? But sadly is that nowadays, you know, the viewers, uh, when you travel around, you see, you know, most of the time people, there's such an aggressiveness and people are drawn toward that aggressiveness. And that is uh, sad, but most of the time when we look at uh, what the media or the cinematography shows is also that aggressiveness. So I guess from my point of view, you know, if somebody want to watch something, you know, it's better to watch something which is positive, you know, because there's also like we were talking about pilgrimage, there's also Yatra, there's many wonderful movies who have also inspired people, you know. If somebody want to watch, if I put it clearly, it's better to watch something which is creative, which will help you to evolve, help you to progress. So you're saying that it should be a conscious uh, effort uh, and discretion of what genre of content that we indulge in, right? Yes, this is, look, everybody have their choice in life, you know, to what they do, what they want to look. We can't force anybody, but it also come to the point of each individual to really take in consideration what do they want in life. They want to make that what they look in the TV, their life, that will never happen. Because what is shown in the TV is not real. And what it brings, they say, like I said, something which is real, only that will bring reality to you. It can inspire you, some things, but it also can destroy you. And this is what I think is the choice what people have to have.